Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Shabali and you're watching Swiftly Shabali, a place for developers to learn, grow, and make an impact on their careers. Whether that's getting the internship or full-time position of your dreams or publishing your dream app on the App Store, I'm here to help. And today we're talking about apps that don't use a storyboard to create their UI. This video series was requested by Cloud Computing Soft Tech and he asked for a tutorial about programmatic UI. So I've created a very basic application where we have a view controller with a gray background and a UI image view centered on the screen. We're going to recreate this app together and I'll show you step-by-step step how to get started on Xcode 11 and using iOS 13. There's a couple of um, new things that you'll have to do in order to eliminate the main storyboard. And let me show you how that's done. So we're basically going to recreate this app. And so I'll just quit X Xcode and we'll create a new project together. And I'll go ahead and delete this app as well. And I'm gonna go over here, open up Xcode again, get started with a new project. And I will select the single view app. And then over here, I can name the project, whatever I want to name it. Over here, I'll just say, um, let's just name it no storyboard. So I've got no storyboard. I don't need unit test or UI test. And if you have um, Swift UI selected, make sure you select the storyboard option, even though we're not going to be using that in order to create our UI. Then go ahead and click on next and you can save it wherever you'd like. And there we go. We have a new um, app created. If we go ahead and run it, we'll see that everything compiles and works correctly. Uh, the next thing that you'll have to do is go ahead and just delete the main storyboard for starters. But I mean, first we can go ahead and see that the app runs correctly and then what happens when we delete the storyboard. Here we go. So our app is up and running and we have essentially a view controller with a white background. Then we'll go ahead and delete our main storyboard here. Just go ahead and click on delete and move this file to the trash. So once that's done, if we run our program again, we're going to notice that the app will crash because it could not find the storyboard that we're trying to load up. So over here, we'll have to delete all references to the storyboard. And the way you do that is go back to this project navigator, click on this project, go into the targets, and our app is called no storyboard so we select that right here general is selected and then over here main interface and delete the word main then the next thing you'll have to do is go into the info section and delete a couple more segments so we'll go down to application scene mani manifest then drop down and then scene configuration, drop down again, application session role. We're just going to press this minus button and delete it from here. So once that's deleted, we can go ahead and see if our app runs again. And this time it should run and we shouldn't have any crashes. However, we're not getting landed on our UI view controller that has a white background. Right now we're in this kind of limbo state with a black background that we're seeing and that's not what we want. If we start building UI on our view controller, we're not gonna be able to see anything. 
And this is because we don't have a window set up on our app. And so if you're familiar with uh, setting up a window using app delegate in the previous versions of Xcode, then you're going to notice that app delegate does not have a variable called window and that window is actually moved into a new file called scene delegate. So scene delegate is newly introduced and instead of setting up everything in app delegate with did finish launching, we're going to configure everything in scene delegate. And over here, the first step that you need to do is capture this variable, uh, window scene. So we'll go ahead and name it window scene. Then the next thing that you do is assign the variable window to have a new window. So we'll say window equals to, it's a new UI window. And this is automatically taken care of by Storyboard, but since we're not using Storyboard, we have to programmatically do this ourselves. So over here, we'll put in the window scene that we just captured. Over here, window scene. Then the next thing that you'll want to do is set the root view controller. So we'll go ahead and do window, optionally chain it over here and say root view controller and we'll set that equal to our view controller. And this is the view controller that Xcode has given us here. Right now we don't have anything set up here. And then we'll have, so we've created our a new instance of view controller, set it to the root view controller, and then we'll want to make the key the keys visible on here. So we'll say window and then make key and visible. Okay, let's go over here into our view controller and create make the background for our view be gray. And run our code one more time. There we go, we have our gray background showing up here. And now we'll want to programmatically add in a image view and center it on this, on this view. So let's go ahead and create a UI image view here. So we can create a lazy variable outside of this function is just a part of the view controller. So we can say lazy variable image view and it's of type UI image view and it's equal to all of the stuff that we're going to initialize it with. So our image view is going to need an image and we'll go ahead and say UI image and we'll assign it by the name and we're going to name our image just image.png and over here we'll come into our assets and you can select whatever image you have you can also name it whatever you'd like um, I've just taken the screenshot and I'm going to use it of the comment that cloud computing gave us and I'm going to name it just capital image uh, image with a capital I and so over here in the view controller that's what I have then we'll go ahead and create the image view and it's of type UI image view and pass it in the image that we just created. Then 
we will go ahead and just say image view translating auto resizing masks into const into constraints and we're going to set that to false and then we will just return this image view so over here we have our image view that we've just created then we'll come back here into view to load and we can say view dot add subviews and go ahead and add this image view as a subview of the view so over here i have added it and now after we add this image view as a subview we can go ahead and set the constraints so we'll do that here and i'm just going to create an array of the constraints that, I, that I'm going to set for this uh, image view. And so remember, we want to have the image centered on this screen, and then um, we'll want the, to set the width and the height with constants. So I'm going to create an array here, and the first element of this array is going to be image view dot center and we're going to center it with the x anchor first and then put in a constraint and this constraint we just want it to be equal to view dot center x anchor so we want the x anchor to be exactly the same then we can also go ahead and say image view center y anchor and create this constraint. And we just want it to also be equal to view center y anchor. Then our Third constraint is a width anchor. And over here, we want it to be equal to a constant. And so I'm just going to say 350 because I know that that's probably a good width for this sized image. If you're using like a square image or smaller image or something, you can play around with these numbers. And then my final constraint will be the height anchor. And I'm going to set this constraint also to be equal to a constant. And I'm just going to make it 100 because, again, I know that that works well with my, my image size. Then I'm going to use this um, NS layout constraint. And I'm going to say activate all of these constraints that I have in my array. So I'm doing this because I don't want to go in one by one for each of these constraints and set it to is active equals true. So I mean, I could go ahead and do that for each one of these, but because I don't want to do that, I'm going to activate them all together. And that's why I created an array of constraints to begin with. I can go ahead and run my code here. I have a new UI view controller with a light gray background and I have an image centered perfectly in my screen and we didn't use a storyboard at all. This, um, if you've been following along, you created your very first app without using storyboard. And this is just the beginning of um, creating apps programmatically. We will continue to um, expand on this with like table views and collection views. And so I hope you can get a sense of how this is done. 
Uh, there's also some external resources that you can use to help out with this, and that makes um, the syntax a lot easier. One example of that is a pod called Snapkit. Um, I will probably be using that in my future videos, but this is how you can do it purely with the API that Apple provides us. And um, I'll link the resources um, in the description below, and you can see how Apple provides these different constraints and which constraints you can use to set um, all, of the, all of your sub views within a view. And that's pretty much it for part one of this series. This is um, the main point was to show you how to use scene delegate properly, which um, is kind of a new thing for iOS 13. And so if this video was helpful and you'd like to see more in the series, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.